Tandem master cylinder parts and their functions. 1. Filler plug. The filler plug is located on top of the fluid reservoir and serves as an access point for adding brake fluid. It also seals the reservoir to prevent contamination from dirt, moisture, or debris, ensuring the brake fluid remains clean and effective. Some filler plugs include a vent to maintain atmospheric pressure inside the reservoir. 2. Fluid Reservoir The fluid reservoir stores the brake fluid required for the hydraulic braking system. It supplies fluid to the master cylinder during braking and replenishes it when the brakes are released. The reservoir is typically transparent or has markings to allow for easy monitoring of fluid levels. 3. Tandem Master Cylinder Body The body is the main housing of the master cylinder, containing all internal components. It is designed to withstand high hydraulic pressure and is usually made of durable materials like aluminum or cast iron. The body ensures proper alignment and operation of the pistons and springs. 4. Push Rod the push rod connects the brake pedal to the primary piston inside the master cylinder. When the brake pedal is pressed, the push rod transfers the force to the primary piston, initiating the hydraulic braking process. It plays a critical role in converting mechanical force into hydraulic pressure. 5. Primary Piston The primary piston is the first piston activated by the push rod. When the brake pedal is pressed, it moves forward, creating hydraulic pressure in the primary chamber. This pressure forces brake fluid through the brake lines to the front or rear brakes, depending on the system design. 6. Primary Main Port The primary main port connects the fluid reservoir to the primary chamber of the master cylinder. It allows brake fluid to flow into the chamber when the piston returns to its original position, ensuring a continuous supply of fluid for braking. 7. Primary Return Spring the primary return spring is located behind the primary piston and ensures it returns to its original position when the brake pedal is released. This action allows brake fluid to flow back into the primary chamber, resetting the system for the next braking operation. 8. Primary Bypass Port The primary bypass port allows brake fluid to flow between the primary chamber and the reservoir when the piston is in its resting position. It ensures that excess pressure is relieved and maintains proper fluid circulation within the system. 9. Secondary Piston The secondary piston is the second piston in the tandem master cylinder. It is activated by the hydraulic pressure created by the primary piston and generates additional pressure in the secondary chamber. This ensures that both front and rear brakes receive adequate hydraulic pressure for effective braking. 10. Secondary Main Port the secondary main port connects the fluid reservoir to the secondary chamber of the master cylinder. It allows brake fluid to flow into the chamber when the secondary piston returns to its original position, ensuring a continuous supply of fluid for braking. 11. Secondary Return Spring The secondary return spring is positioned behind the secondary piston and ensures it returns to its original position when the brake pedal is released. Like the primary return spring, it allows brake fluid to flow back into the secondary chamber, completing the reset of the braking system. 12. Secondary Bypass Port The secondary bypass port allows brake fluid to flow between the secondary chamber and the reservoir when the piston is in its resting position. It ensures that excess pressure is relieved and maintains proper fluid circulation within the system.